Okay, I'm here with Jared Gardner, and uh, I think I just heard, hello? Thought I heard my neighbor coming in. No, she's like the Kramer in the building, or in, in my unit. Like, Kramer just comes into Jerry's unit and just like, hey, Jerry! And so sometimes she just pops in. But anyways, uh, Jared is a real estate agent here. Well, not here, he's a real estate agent, well, in Toronto. And uh, we were just uh, looking at a unit together that's for sale somewhere, and uh, it was like, whoa, it, it was kind of messy. There was obviously a tenant living there who was maybe mad about leaving. They didn't clean the place. Uh, there was stuff every, there was actually, they didn't even flush the toilet. It was, it was madness. And it made me think, you know what, maybe I'm overthinking the idea that I need to, fur, like, to, to make my place perfect, perfect. Because I've been all paranoid about it. Like, oh my God, I've got to get everything out. I've got to paint it. I've got to clean it. And Jared was like, let me come see your place. So I brought him over because I showed him a photo yesterday of the place being all decluttered. But I also showed him a photo that everything was in here and I've taken everything out of there. And now everything is, is uh, it's, this isn't focusing. Uh, there we go. So everything was in here and now everything is there and I'm gonna work on selling stuff. But I've been talking too much, Jared. What do you have to say about the whole subject? So as I was telling you, Josh, like coming into a clean home, your home, it's time to declutter, but you're living in your home. You can live in your home wherever you want. When you get ready to sell a home, the biggest thing you need to remember, it's no longer your home anymore. You're getting it prepped and ready for the next owners to visualize themselves in this beautiful home. So yes, having your walls painted, freshly painted, will give that first great impression. Making sure that the house smells, smells good. The smell, like you use your sense, your, you use all your five senses a lot, yeah. and smell is the one, the biggest one, when you walk into a home in a condo, and if it smells good, it's gonna help you have the people visualize or live in there. And they, there is something called, and it's a, I think they've been using it in ads for, uh, for Febreze or something, but uh, scent blindness or something, where you don't smell your own place. Ah, there she is. There's my Kramer. I told you. Um, we're just talking about the importance of cleaning. I told them that we went to a unit that, uh, that didn't look very clean. And uh, so, yeah, so, you know, even if you don't smell something, it doesn't mean others can't smell it. So, yeah, do whatever you can. I don't like artificial scents. It makes me sneeze. But, you know, I've got my door open. You could air it out. You could... Yeah, just a deep cleaning would make it smell good. Or like candles, baked cookies, they say. 100%. And the biggest one is everyone loves the word staging. I love one of my favorite words, organizing. Mm. I, one of the things I do on my listings is I have one of my professional organizers come in and assist my clients in making sure let's get the home ready to sell. And we're going to go through everything and looking at stuff. Have you used this? Do you need it? Are we donating it? Are we putting it in storage? But it's just about organizing the home. If you have too much stuff in a condo, it makes the condo feel small. What? Yeah. Thousand square foot <laughs> condo, you can make it feel like 600 square feet very quickly. Yeah. And at the end of the day, condos in Toronto are selling very quick, selling very fast. If you want to get top dollar, there's just a few little touches you need to do to ensure. That was noisy out there. To basically ensure that your home will sell in the fastest amount of time and for the most amount of money. All right, yeah, because I mean, what, I, what I wanted to do psychologically is if I can just sell all my stuff, because I don't necessarily want to move to another place, I want to be free, I want to be a digital nomad, so I'm not just going to pack up everything and move to another apartment. I was like, if I can get rid of everything beforehand, it'll be very psychologically freeing. I'll be like, I don't have to move anything, I'll feel just uncluttered, I'll, be, I'll feel free, but I feel like I'm overthinking it a bit. I can still put things in cupboards and closets, and then, and then after you do sell, there's still like a 30-day uh, you know, closing window or something. If you have anything to say, you can, you can say it. I, just, I hear you rustling around. I, that's, that's the sound she makes when she's like, I gotta say something, I gotta do something. <laughs> Any comments, Kathleen? What's in that box? What box, this box? Yeah. Uh, this is just little bits of... Uh, oh, okay, I thought it was like... There's like extra things shoes or something. from this. No, yeah, you like running shoes. She likes her sports, but no. This is extra little bits of lights uh, from that and stuff. Anyway, what's in the box? That's from the, the movie Seven. You seen the movie Seven? I won't spoil it, but at the end, it's like, what's in the box? It's very, Brad Pitt is very upset to find out what's in the box. All right. Um, so, okay. So, all right. Well, if you use Jared, tell him Celebrity Josh sent you, and you'll get a special deal uh, with whatever real estate agents do, and he'll help you organize and declutter. Do you, yeah, it is, I guess, is it, I mean, it doesn't make sense to delay a sale to say, oh, I'm going to spend a lot of time organizing and, and organi like beforehand, right? But I guess do it beforehand, then you don't have to deal with it later. Well, I think the biggest thing is we're in spring market right now. Yeah. We can delay a sale a month overthinking and decluttering, or we can get rid of most of your stuff in here 
probably within four hours of having one of my professional organizers in. Yeah. You can keep the stuff you want to keep. We can put them in storage, keep them in one of the rooms. We can actually use them as art if we really need to mm. and ensure that you're listing your home at the most valuable time. What do you mean art? Well, your guitars. That can be used as yeah. art. Oh, yeah, exactly. That's beautiful okay. art. Yeah, your, it does. Your, your sound, your yeah. soundboards, that's art. Yeah, because I had the, these installed to yeah. so you can hear there's no echo in this room. This is where I knew my voice acting. And I'm like, do I take them off the wall? But maybe people will want them. So he says leave them, and then we can tell people we'll remove them if they don't want them. I think it's... If anybody wants to buy these, these stand around you too and block the echo. But anyways. All right, so lots of things to think about. Uh, and yeah, if anybody wants to buy this place, let me know. If anybody wants to use Jared, let me know. If anybody wants to... No. Okay. All right. Bye, everyone. Take care.